And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> Hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Hold still, you flea-bitten polecat. Here you go, boss. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! Let me guess, your suit is entirely made of twine. Actually, I'm the docent of this here museum. Now, what can I do for you? It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidnae. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Good Lord! It's a possessed outhouse! This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. Is this your ring? Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait! You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he's speaking in tongues. Bumpusville. Bumpusville. I wonder if Conroy's a member of Good Sam Club. A wishing well. I wish I had absolute power to decide who lives and who dies. I think we'd need a bigger well. It 
It's more money than we'll ever need. I wish this game were over. Hold it! Get back here! We're dealing with a very literal well here. I wish I knew what Max was thinking. Well, that was a waste of money. Nah, this thing's malfunctioning. Howdy, partners. I'm Conroy Bumpus, and welcome to Bumpusville. Feel free to wander the mansion, but for Pete's sake, don't touch anything! Howdy, partner! Cripes! Hey, Max, take a look at this! It's titled Me, Myself, and I! Hey, you learned how to read! It's a gold record for Conroy's breakthrough hit. Two-fisted, beer-drinking, gun-toting, hard-loving, fast-driving, country-western liverpudlian. It's the platinum record Bumpus got for Let's Drink Beer and Shoot Things. It's a gold record for Bumpus's Heaven's Just Like Texas, Except That There's No Taxes. Conroy's first 8-track tape, Flush Down the Toilet of Love. It's a gold record for Conroy's runaway hit, Broken Hearted Roadkill on the Highway of Romance. Oh, the platinum record Conroy got for his all-time hit, Smile When You Say That, You Rock and Rollin' Wimp. Bumpus got this gold record for Daddy's Two-Steppin' in His Two-Foot Grave. It's hard to believe that he sold a million of tobacco spit blues. Hey, visitors ain't allowed to use Mr. Bumpus' state-of-the-art virtual reality equipment. Scram! It's Conroy's thuggish henchman, Lee Harvey. I feel a nigh uncontrollable urge to stick bolts in your neck and shout, It's alive! It's alive! Nigh? Can I help you too? Well, we'll be looking around ourselves. Don't get up. Fine. You sure are one dedicated employee. Yep, that's me. Detonated. What you reading? Dialenix by L. Rod Hubble. It's changing my life. So, what's this Conroy Bumpus Yahoo really like? Has he got any deep, dark secrets we can exploit for monetary gain? Hey, don't be casting no aspirations toward Mr. Bumpus. He busted me out of the youth camp, gave me this high-paying 475 an hour job, taught me how to speak Swahili, found a baboon's heart for my sister's transplant operation, and he sings real pretty, too. How can you stand to work for someone who persecutes harmless beasts like Bruno the Bigfoot? Uh, on my feet? He's got you there, Sam. Don't you have any misgivings about hunting harmless freaks like Trixie? I did, but then I took a couple of aspirin. So, what's all this virtual reality equipment for? The way I understand it, Mr. Bumpus uses a sophisticated virtual reality scenario to interface with the mansion security system. The devil, you say? The devil! The devil! Yeah, sometimes Mr. Bumpus lets me use the equipment. I pretend I'm over a hundred feet tall and everyone else is like ants and I just squish, 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 squish. We get the picture. Well, we'll be looking around ourselves. Don't get up. Fine. Ah, skip it. Wow! It's Monster Truck Weekend! Happening every Sunday. Sunday! Sunday. 
Okay, I'm over the shock now. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. It's a pillow, and you it's got miracle grow hair tonic all over it. It looks like an official macro heart maintenance droid manual. If I had the slightest inclination to strain myself, I could probably reach it. However, I'm sure I can drag this out into a longer yet more satisfying experience. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. Oops. Find out all you need to know? Maybe. I got a little lost in the troubleshooting chapter. It's a guide to the operation of macro hard maintenance droids. It's a macro hard maintenance droid. Look, they're paintings of trophies. It's a portrait of John Muir. Say, Sam, just who is John Muir? Who's John Muir? Hey, guys, this dope doesn't know who John Muir is. You gotta be kidding. What a maroon. What a dib cow poop. Sam, the dead animal heads are talking to me. Where? Up there. Well? But... You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. But... Stop bugging me. I'm admiring this portrait of John Muir. But who's John Muir? Do you really want to know? If you'll stop talking, sure. Okay. Hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. A naturalist, noble and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the leasties has never been equaled. Uh... For sure! Cripes, look at all the trophies. I think this bumpus goon is overcompensating for his lack of stature, Sam. Besides, I've got a lot more trophies than he does. This is Conroy's first guitar. It says here that he practiced diligently for two weeks, then gave it up and hired a backup band. That story warms the cockles of my heart. So do car crashes. It's a macro hard maintenance droid. Bubba's Bill is proud to present the Master of Melody. The king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting As exposing beasts to inhumanity that's why I'm happy to be king of the creatures. I'm proud to be the lord of the old. I love collecting things with grotesque features. It makes me feel like some Chaldean god. Oh, I trapped my first tiger before I could speak Killed me a bear when I was free And now with this Bigfoot and giraffe neck freak I finally have a full menagerie Hit it, boys! Yeah. 
country western style. Thank you, thank you. Your attention, please. Conrad Bubbers has left the building. It's Bruno and Trixie. Hey, Trixie. <laughs> hey, Bruno. <laughs> Bumpusville sings. Jethro Clamp, it's going on here. Ow! That tickle! Knock it off! Aye! And stay out! This is a completely Now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. I'm impressed. That's nothing. Watch this. Help me, Sam and Max! You're my only hope! That was gratuitous. Sorry. This might be more useful. I think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. There he goes. I'm ripe with anticipation. I thought I smelled something. What the? Al Pavlovian. And you should know. Sorry guys, this exhibit's temporarily closed due to uh, technical difficulties. Please exit the room. No problem. This is virtual reality? I may be sick. Yonder lies the castle of my father, the king. It's a cheesely polygon sword. Yonder lies the castle of my father, the king. That's a pretty crappy looking dragon. Well? I didn't save the princess. What are you two doing here? Leaving.
Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. Let's try this again. Get along, little robot. What the? He's not getting any smarter, is he? I still don't see what all the fuss is about. Covering Dragon's Heart, just like the one I have at home. Finish it. Well? I am the Key Master. Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now! It's a cheesily polygoned key. Well, back to the circus with you. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lug. Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a lagomorph. Look, I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison's Savage Jungle Inn in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Bigfoots. And their dates? Only. Let's go! It's a stilt walker's costume. This place is tiki-rific. Tiki-rific? Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. Savage Jungle Inn.
That's a particularly big Bigfoot. How's the band? Pretty happy as far as I can tell. Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. Stop! What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. It's a rasp. Here. Great. Really great. I owe you guys. She looks familiar. She's not my type. You know, you look like a really scary version of Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star. I am! Evelyn Morrison, you cur! Actually, I'm more of an Irish wolfhound than a cur. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Junglin has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Junglin has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. How'd you end up in the hotel business? I bet it was a sordid combination of fast cars and fast living. Vroom, vroom. It was the stars. Bigger movie stars than you? Pshaw. Pshaw? No, the stars didn't get bigger. The rubber monsters got smaller. I still say it was a lurid tale of sin and depravity. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bed-bug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no, then. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. Don't be silly. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. During the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? Probably. It's Evelyn Morrison, B-movie star. I can't pick that up. This is a complete...
A stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. I think I like the humming better. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? I applaud this woman's monomania. She's not my type. Incidentally, we're out of milk. I'll make a note. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, Sam. You may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Miniaturization? Peas. Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying is give peas a chance. How late are you open? As late as you want. Gotta grab the sales when you can in this business. I grow more fascinated by the moment. What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a special. So what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check out our fridge. Well, bye. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Shrooms. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Shrooms. What the Holy Mother of Gord is this? Oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. I grow more fascinated by the moment. Well, bye. I don't think she'd want that. It's one of Conroy's toupees.
And stay out. It's Conroy's toupee. <coughs> Dino Bungee National Memorial. Hmm. What kind of dinosaurs are those, Sam? From the size of their grand fibular extensions, I'd say they were a couple of brick-a-brachiosaurs. Are they dangerous? They're only robots, Max. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. No one tells me anything. It's a fearsome mall. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut but they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name is... That was informative. I've seen hair like this somewhere before. Your butt? No, this hair has the same coarseness as Sasquatch hair. You don't suppose they skin Sasquatches to make this cheesy roadside attraction? Who knows? More importantly, who cares? Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. That was informative. I can't get over how much this mammoth hair resembles Sasquatch hair. Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoths died of embarrassment. I can't get over how much this mammoth hair resembles Sasquatch hair. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles. That's a large fiberglass fish. It's a perfectly good metric left-handed spanner that's been bent out of shape.
That did the trick. Hey, Max, climb in this fish. You first. It's kind of wobbly in here. Hey, Max, come here. Here I come. One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout. I always thought you were made of plaster. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. I told you I had a plan. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. See? That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Maybe later. It's 91 yards of twine. 